What's up, tribe? It's Nadja here, and I am back with another tribe tea segment. That is when you guys send me in your stories, um, things you just want us to react to your experiences. If you just want some advice, we do all of that here. If you guys would like your story read, or you need some advice um, that can wait a little bit because this shit takes a while. <laughs> so if you don't need like immediate life threatening type advice, please feel free to DM me or not DM me. That's the exact opposite. DM me if it's important, okay? And you want some help, preferably on the forum because my IG DMs are very flooded. But if you guys wanna be on this segment, all you have to do is email me in the email in the description below. I'm just gonna get right into it. We have three stories today. I know you guys might be a little confused because we just did a tribe tea yesterday and now we're doing a drive tea again. But I do have a special Valentine's Day question of the week set up for tomorrow. So that's why you get two tribe teas back to back, okay? The first story we're going to be reading today is I fantasize about my manager. She says, hey girl, I just wanna start off by saying that I love your channel so much and your videos are what make my day. Well, thanks sis, that means a lot. Let's keep this anonymous, we'll do. Always, we always do that. Unless you want your name to be, y'all know. Donald Drew. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by saying that I got my dream job. Oh, congrats. And it's an office job and the pay is good, yes. The problem is that I work with more guys than girls. I always have them flirt with me, but I ignore them. The only person I try to flirt back with is my manager. We glance at each other, we look each other up and down and smile. I've caught him several times glancing at my butt and looking away super quick. Girl, I know you was up in there talking about- I'm ready to get the fuck! He's always calling me into his office to ask me the stupidest questions just so we can talk. And to be honest, I'm so down with it. He's so cute. Everyone at my office say that he's handsome and that I'm lucky to be his next office. Basically, they're saying you're gonna be his next office boo. Basically, like you're so lucky you about to be his office boo because he is fine. Basically what the girls are saying. Anyway, here is the problem. Of course there's a problem. I wanna keep flirting with him, but he's married and he seems like too nice of a guy to take this step, that step into flirting more. If you can tell by examples I put, the only thing he does is the, the basic flirting. So he just flirts with you, but you're like, I know for a fact he's most likely not gonna, um, want to you know cheat on his wife with me basically is what you're saying so you said i don't want a relationship with him or anything like that i just want to know what that eggplant emoji can do I said. my husband and i oh wow so you're married too hmm interesting my husband and i always fantasize of me getting down with someone else oh shit you guys are freaking what are the, what is, hey babe what is it called when um What's the word for that thing where it's like a husband likes to watch their wife getting fucked by somebody else? What's the word? It's called a cuck. <laughs> Daniel! It's a cuck hold. C-U-C-K-H-O-L-D. It's predominantly Caucasian people that like to see big old black bulls in the room, in the bed, like big black bulls. Have a good one. Um, well there goes our monetization. Does anybody want to sponsor <laughs> So basically, she, her husband fantasizes about her getting down with someone else and telling him what that person did to me. So I guess that's why I'm so intrigued with him because he's the type of guy I like. I don't want anything to do in his relationship. I just want what I want. I said. I feel like he always wants to flirt more, but guess he's scared of how I'll react. I don't know. Do you think I should take the next step into flirting or do you think I should stop? Do you think he's flirting or is that just a common guy thing to do? If he takes the flirting to the next step, how do you think I should let him know all I want is the eggplant emoji? This story is so messed up, I know, but I feel like I get what I want from him. I'll stop and move on. Oh, and by the way, I'm 23 and he's 30. Please don't come for me, Nadja. Much love. I'm gonna answer each question individually. So, do you think I should take the next step in flirting or do you think I should stop? I mean, you guys have already been flirting with each other back and forth this whole time. I mean, I don't know. So you said, do you think he's flirting or is that just a common guy thing to do? I definitely feel like he's checking you out and if other people are noticing it, it's most likely definitely flirting. And she says, if he takes the flirting, to the next level, do you think I should let him know what I just want? Well, if I were you, I would let him know that you are also married and that you're aware that he has a wife. And I I get you with that whole I want what I want, but at the end of the day, girl, he is a married man and you can't have everything that you want in this life. 
if you really want him, you need to talk to his wife because for all you know, they might get down the same way. So closed mouths don't get fed. Ask, just ask. I mean, they might just get down to get down the same way that you and your hubby likes to get down to get down and it might not even be a problem and it might be a mutual understanding of like a hit it and quit it because we both got partners. You know, if any of my people in the comments are watching this, if you guys are married and you guys have a similar dynamic or if you guys are like married but are, um, polyamorous or um yeah i think that's what it's called polyamorous give them some advice in the comments below so the next one is called tribe tea my body odor issues have taken over my life jeez hey Nadja, i want to start this email by saying that i love your channel and you're one of my favorite youtubers well thank you i'm gonna remain anonymous because what i'm gonna share is very personal and quite embarrassing it all started back in my sophomore year of high school I started to notice that whenever I would be in class, people would sniff. It would make comments like, it's hot in here, even when it was literally freezing cold in class. It also happened at home too. Whenever I would be around my family, they would sniff, cough, and breathe really heavily. I didn't really think anything of it. I thought they were just experiencing allergies. I soon realized that the reason they did that is because of my body odor. Well, what is going on? Like, do you just, are you just not hygienic or do you have like a medical condition? Like what, have you been to the doctor? Cause I saw this um, woman who was being interviewed who has constant body odor and stuff and it's like a medical condition. Like she can't control it. Like her sweat glands produce an odor. Like, have you went to the doctor? One day I was in class and a dude flat out said that I smell like shit. He did so in a subliminal way. I honestly was shocked cause I I take my personal hygiene very seriously. I always take a shower and I do so thoroughly. I just don't understand why this was happening to me. You probably you probably have a medical issue. I wanted to confide in a close friend or a family member about it. I did it because I was embarrassed and I was also afraid that they would validate the guy's comment. Instead, I tried resolving the problem. I took extra long showers and scrubbed as hard as I can. I also asked my mom to buy me new lotion and cologne. However, none of those methods work. If anything, it just made it worse. Other people in school, yeah, because you're not really masking the smells, you're kind of just mixing the smells together. Like, so, yeah. No matter what I did to fix it, nothing worked. It honestly made me very depressed. People thought of me as a slob and I was far from it. This problem continued well after high school and unfortunately, I'm still struggling. Wherever I go, people sniff, cough, and mix up comments. A year after high school, I finally decided to speak to a doctor. Surprisingly, he told me that I had no odor. What? Hearing that should have put my mind at ease, but it didn't. I was still getting the same reaction from people around me. I even got the courage to talk to my family members and they gave me the same response as my doctor. This problem has affected my social life. I only go out of work. I don't know what to do. Any advice would help. Okay, I'm gonna Google this girl's name because I really do believe this may be what you have. Yeah, here it is. It says she smells the woman who constantly smells of fish. And she has a similar thing. I feel like maybe your family might be used to the odor at this point, and that's why they don't smell it. Or maybe it's just because you're not sweating. Video called the woman who constantly smells of fish. She was diagnosed with trimethylaminuria. Idiot. Basically, a disorder more commonly known as fish odor syndrome. People suffering with the meta metabolic condition regularly produce a range of strong bodily odors, including rotten fish, onions, and feces. Kelly describes her own, who is the woman in this video, she describes her own as fishy and oniony. So what she actually did was um, she just keeps, there's really nothing that she can do. Like she just lives with this for her whole life. But um, what she does is like she monitors what she eats because what you put in your body, you know? So she monitors what she eats. She tries to stay away from fishy and smelly foods to keep it under control. Um, she bathes regularly. Um, and she's just like you, like she, is embarrassed when she goes to work because people can smell her and stuff like that. But I don't know, I honestly would look this up and bring it back to your doctor and see if they can test you for this because that's what it's sounding like. Like these things come out of the blue out of nowhere. Some people are born with it. Some people it just pops out of the blue in puberty and they just smell that way and then it goes away. Some people it's permanent. I would definitely look more into it, especially now that you're an adult. I would definitely look more into it, but I can, I really do empathize and sympathize at the same time because I can't imagine, I can't imagine what that must be like to, to scrub your body and just be so clean, as clean as you can be and still 
smell and have society and people around you thinking that you're like this slobby person when you're just trying so hard like i couldn't even imagine i really hope that you have a strong support system and like you're not dealing with this alone i'm glad that your family was helping you when they could but i would highly advise telling your doctor about this watch that video for sure i'll pin it in the pinned comments watch that video because i really feel like that might be in the same ballpark if i were you i would go and try to get tested for that so the last story, oh God, my friend is dating a pedo. Why are, why do pedophiles exist? Like, can we just like tape them to a rocket and just send them, like why? Roger girl, my name is Kiara and I have been a fan for about two to three years and I love you and your content. Well, thank you so much Kiara and I really hope that your friend is not with this fucking pedophile and I really hope that she is, you're not her friend no more. Back to your story. <laughs> I had a friend whose name is Anna but we've been friends since middle school. Anna used to work at this fast food joint down the street from our old high school. And for two and a half years, she's been dating this guy. I just caught him deep. I didn't show anybody any pictures or anything for literally their entire relationship. So recently I got fed up with her talking about him because I knew nothing about him. That's a red sign right there. Like if you, if you, if your friend doesn't want you to know about your significant other, like there's something wrong. Specifically though, when people don't want their parents to know about the significant other, that means that something ain't right. She literally refused anything about him. So one day I was like, what school does he go to? And she tells me he's not in school. Okay, so boom, I asked, well, how old is he? Do you know he's 25 years old with a seven year old child? Remind you, they've been dating together since they were 16. So since she was 16, so hold on. So for two and a half years, she's been dating D. So since she has been 13, 14 years old, this 22 year old man. I'm Chris Hansen with- Oh, they've been together since she was 16. So basically when he was 22, she was 16. Still fucking gross. So a couple months ago, Anna FaceTimes me crying over her adoptive mom kicking her out and if she can come over. After she hangs, she goes to my friend Jenny's house asking to get away and her mom was not having it due to them previously having beef. Now recently before graduation, she says her mom kicked her out and she's moving in with Dee. Yet she tells me I have to hurry and grab my stuff before my mom comes home. I was with my friend Miracle and I mentioned Anna and Miracle tells me it's funny because she's telling everyone she got kicked out yet she left voluntarily. So she's trying to sneak out. So is she, how old is she? They've been together for two and a half years. So she's 18 now and she knows this information because their moms are best friends. Back to the first time she got kicked out, I was asking Jenny if I was wrong for believing that Brianna was lying and she tells me no, cause when my mom took her home and was talking to her mom, her mom did admit that she told Anna to get the fuck out. Only because she found out that she lied about seeing her old boyfriend and she caught an STD from him. I, as if I was Anna's mom, I would not have sent Anna away. The second that she would have caught an STD and the second I would have known that my child is a teenager dating fucking a 20 something year old with a child, like I would be calling the fucking police. I got this shit where you from, but let me tell you something, where I'm from, we don't do oh, shit like that. You over here kicking her out cause she caught an SD, STD from an adult. Like why is that adult not being penalized right now? Bro, I'm so disappointed because her stories never made sense and hearing it all come together, it adds up. Am I wrong for not wanting to talk to her anymore? I told her previously she should leave him alone because she says he calls her out her name, throws things at her and constantly cheats on her through Snapchat while she gives him all of her paychecks for the car he doesn't have. Again, I'm not sure what's true anymore from her. Sorry if it was so long, girl. Hopefully it wasn't too confusing. Well, honestly, it seems to me like she's only lying to you guys about her relationship because she knows it's wrong. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's usually what people in y'all age bracket do. Like, when you know that something ain't right, you know you can't show it to people. I wouldn't cut her off. I would be there for her. And I would tell her not to tell me about what the fuck's going on with her relationship. I w have you ever talked to her about how weird it is that he wants to date you? Like, I would just be there for her because I just know for a fact there is going to be a point where she finally has that epiphany moment and she's like, wow, my friends were right. Like, we all have it. Shit, I had it. Like, we all have it. And it, it would just be awesome if you could be there for her. But don't hurt yourself. You get what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to tell her, I don't want to hear about him. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, don't be afraid to tell her, I support you. 
I don't support that. Like, you get what I'm saying? You know, guys, what would you do in her situation? Let her know in the comments below. That is it for today. Um, Again, thank you guys so much, all of you guys that entered into the trap tees this week. Stay tuned tomorrow for the question of the week, Valentine's Day edition, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.